Welcome to Mojo Grip, Mike here. Today we're checking out some older airplanes. These are all airplanes that many pilots would probably consider when looking for their first. Although they're vintage, there are still plenty available flying in the skies today. And the first on the list is the Piper Cherokee 180. If you know anything about aviation, you probably know about this airplane already. The line of the Cherokees are some of the most readily available aircraft all over the world. Over 30,000 of these birds were built. First you have the 140, the Cherokee 150, the 160, and then you have the 180. The 180 basically is the size of the engine, which has 180 horsepower. What you get with this beefed up version of the Cherokee is a bigger engine, which means better performance, you also get more useful load. Now, generally, the Piper Cherokee 140, although it's a four-seater, you really can't take four people in that airplane. Now, you upgrade to a bigger engine, it means you can probably take more people or more baggage. The typical cruise speed in a Piper Cherokee 180 is about 130 miles per hour. You're still maintaining a low stall speed at only 47 knots. It's around 50, 55 miles per hour. Here's an airplane you can fly over 500 miles while carrying almost a thousand pounds. The Piper Cherokee 180 is known for its ease to fly and also it's a very stable airplane. Most pilots who fly this airplane either use them for training or as a personal aircraft. To find one today, you can find a good used airplane for around $30,000 or $40,000. Next on the list is the Piper Cherokee 235. You want to go faster and carry more payload? Opt for the 235. Here's another four-seater that uses a similar airframe as the Piper Cherokee 180. With a 235 horsepower engine, you're climbing better and your cruise speed is a bit faster. The Piper Cherokee 235 really is for the pilot who wants to go further. What you get with this aircraft is the same rugged build that you get with the other lines of Piper Cherokees. Except with the 235, you're going even further. This airplane will carry four people and go up to 800 miles. So if you need a true cross country airplane, you want to take a look at the Piper Cherokee 235. Now, you will go a little faster than the 180, this airplane will cruise anywhere from 130 all the way over 160, 170 miles per hour. The only downside to a 235 is that you will be burning more fuel. This aircraft will burn around 15 gallons of fuel per hour. Also like the 180, the Piper Cherokee 235 can be used for training and it can be used as a personal aircraft. To buy one used today, you can find a good one in the market anywhere from $40,000 to around $60,000. Next on the list is the Mooney M20. Here's the only complex airplane on this list. The M20 from Mooney has been produced for over 60 years and there are plenty of this airplane that are still flying today. The M20 is a four-seater. Now what you hear from a lot of Mooney pilots is that the cabin can get really tight when you put more people in there. So this is more of a two to three people airplane. Unlike the Piper Cherokee 180 or the 235, a Mooney M20 may not be your first entry level airplane. One, because it is complex, meaning you have the wheels come up. But also compared to a Piper Cherokee, the Mooney M20 may feel more like a rocket because this airplane will go faster. Once those wheels come up, you have less drag and you're flying faster. You have a useful load of a thousand pounds and even with the same 180 horsepower, the Mooney M20 will fly a little faster than a Cherokee. You can expect cruise speeds between 140 to 170 miles per hour. Get this airplane up to high altitude and you'll be burning less than 10 gallons of fuel per hour. A Mooney M20 may be for the more experienced pilot, but you can find this airplane used anywhere from $30,000 to about $40,000. Next we have the Beechcraft Sundowner. Now here's an airplane you don't hear about too many times, 
but the Beechcraft Sundowner is a reputable single engine airplane that any pilot should consider when looking to buy their first. It's a fixed landing gear single engine airplane that can be used for either training or as a personal cross country airplane. The Sundowner really is a model derived from the Beechcraft Musketeer, which they started producing back in the 1960s. The Sundowner will carry up to four people. Base power plant in this airplane is 180 horsepower. As a matter of fact, this is the same engine you'll find in the lines of the Piper Cherokee 180. Although the Beechcraft Sundowner is not the fastest in its class, expect cruise speeds around 110 to 120 miles per hour. What you get with this airplane though is that you can travel further. You can travel over 750 miles with that cruise speed. Also, unlike a Piper Cherokee 180, the Beechcraft Sundowner does have a higher stall speed at 63 knots. That's over 70 miles per hour. This perhaps is the reason why many pilots don't opt for a Beechcraft Sundowner when they're thinking about a primary trainer. Your rate of climb in the Sundowner is 728 feet per minute and you can fly up to 13,000 feet. That is the absolute max ceiling for this airplane. To buy one used today, expect to spend anywhere from $25,000 to about $35,000. And the last airplane we're looking at today is the Grumman Tiger, also known as the Grumman American AA-5. Now many of you pilots already know about this airplane and probably love it as much as I do. And rightfully so. When you're thinking of a true four-seater with performance, payload, and range, it's really hard to find any other aircraft in the same class that will beat out a Grumman Tiger. This is why so many pilots love to own and fly one. The Grumman AA-5 was first introduced in the early 70s. Grumman started producing the AA-5 series with a lower power traveler, that airplane had 150 horsepower. And then they improved the performance and opted for 160 horsepower in the Cheetah. Later on came the Grumman Tiger, which has a Lycoming 180 horsepower engine. With the Grumman Tiger, expect to seat up to four people comfortably. Your cruise speeds, expect anywhere from 140 to 160 miles per hour. This airplane will travel over 700 miles with full tanks. Rate of climb in the Tiger, 850 feet per minute. And even at lower altitudes, the Grumman Tiger burns only 10 to 13 gallons of fuel per hour. If you want a true cross-country airplane that's proven its durability for over 30 years, you really want to look at a Grumman Tiger. Now, to find one used in the market today, it will cost you a bit more. A good Grumman Tiger will run anywhere from 45,000 all the way up to about 100,000, just depending on the avionics you get with it. But truly, it's an airplane that's worth the money. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video. Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Mike. I'm a private pilot based in the East Coast and I make videos about airplanes. Ever since I can remember, I've always had a passion for aviation. And recently I was able to get my license. And since then I've been sharing my passion for airplanes on my YouTube channel. Your monthly contribution will first help me make much better quality videos. With better equipment and better staff, I can get you better content out there. Also, my goal is to review even more airplanes for all of my viewers, and this will require me to travel a lot from state to state. Whenever a viewer asks for a specific make and model of an aircraft, I want to be able to get that airplane on camera. And this is my goal for this channel. I want to be able to get you guys a lot more reviews, a lot more airplanes, 
and more importantly, more stories of more pilots getting in the air every single day. The most important aspect of this channel is to inspire others, to get more people in the cockpit and kill their fear of flying. So your contribution is not just about making cool videos, we're gonna inspire so many people who's ever dreamed about becoming a pilot.